Today we're going to take a look at creating a motion from a still image. So I'm going to start out with a shot from NASA that's from uh, the moon, Apollo 16 I think. And it's a 3000 by 3137 uh, still. So we've got plenty of resolution to work with here. Now the first thing that you see, we, we've got one image and we want to actually go and make an extended shot from it. So to do that, we need to jimmy up a IFL file that uses multiple copies of that. So if we open up the IFL file in a text editor, uh, here this is uh, just in uh, Notepad on a Mac, but it just as easily on a Mac would be text edit. So I've just uh, copied the file name there. I'm just going to paste it in a bunch of times. And now I'm going to do the same thing again. And paste it in a couple more times. And now save it away. And if I reopen, I'm going to get a longer version of this shot. We've got like 72 frames now of this, so two and a half seconds, something like that. And what we'll do is use the preprocessor. I just used the P button to bring up the preprocessor. And we're going to be faking out a stabilization. So to turn on the stabilizer without any trackers, um, we'll just put it into peg mode to activate the stabilizer. And for starters, see, we'll just down res the image while we play around with it. And we're going to switch to our mode, different mode there. I'll show in a second. Um, so we want to output a SD resolution result. And so we're going to turn on the resampling at the output stage. And now you see what the difference is between these two different modes. We're either seeing the entire image or just the part that we're outputting. So to start out with, uh, at the beginning of the shot, let's just uh, tighten it up a little bit here. And I've, I've increased the zoom. Now, as I start to move this, you'll see that Synthize is doing this in 3D. Right now it's using a default lens setting. So one of the things we need to do is set up some better estimate of what the lens field of view is. And in this case it's not quite as big. And so we'll just drop that down to a, a guess around 30. And so this is going to be our initial framing at the beginning of the shot. Now we'll go to the end, turn on key framing. At the end, we'll zoom in a bit further. Got a little more updating, perhaps, than I need, but uh, let's even bring this up. So we'll just tighten it up there at the end. And now we're ready. We'll go back and undo the down resing part. And maybe we'll add in a little bit of uh, blur here just to soften it up a little bit. It's a JPEG source. Now here it would go and uh, recompute this thing. You see it's zooming in nicely. So normally now what we do is just we can bring up the uh, output part of this and uh, maybe we'll all right, this is going off the edge there, but uh, we'll make up a little quick time movie. And 
can set up some compressions for it. Well, maybe not. <laughs> um, and uh, now it'll go and write the thing back out. So um, that's the uh, the show here. I hope that gives you an idea of some of the things that you can do in the image preprocessor. You can uh, check this all out uh, on the web as well. Thanks.